Hola estudiantes, hoy vamos a hablar sobre los verbos presentes en la forma de usted. We're going to be talking about present tense verbs in the form of usted, which is the other way to say you. Usted. So, we already know one way to say you. It's tú. Tú is the way you say you when you're talking to someone you know well, like a friend or a family member, because it's somewhat informal. It's not rude, it's just less formal. Usted, which is sometimes abbreviated U-D, UD, so usted, uh, is used when talking to an elder or a superior or someone that you just want to show respect to. That is what usted is for. It is sometimes a good idea to start out talking to someone in the form of usted, uh, if they're a new acquaintance, just to show them respect until they tell you otherwise. Okay, they tell you, oh, you can call me tú. So, we know now two ways to say you, tú and usted. Which one do you think you would use if you were talking to the president of Mexico? Señor Obrador. You would use usted. What if you were talking to your older brother? You would usually use tú. Even though your brother is older than you, he's not really your elder. You don't necessarily want to show him a lot of respect and you know him really well. So you'd probably call him tú. What about your boss? I would use usted to show my boss respect. What about your grandma? Normally, with your grandmother, you, was, you would use usted. Uh, your grandmother is definitely your elder. She deserves your respect. She's been through a lot, and you should probably address her as usted until she tells you otherwise. And finally, what about your best friend? Would you use tú or usted? I hope that's an easy decision. You would use tú. Uh, so we know that verbs in the form of tú end with s, but this is not true for verbs used in the usted form. Okay, they're in two different forms, so no s. The last letter of verbs in the usted form is determined by the type of infinitive verb, either ar, er, or ir. Ar verbs get an a ending, and er and ir verbs get an e ending. So here's the infinitive form and the usted form. Bailar becomes baila, comer becomes come, and escribir becomes escribe. If this looks familiar, it's because it is. Uh, verbs in the usted form have the same endings as verbs in the el and ella form. You can almost think of this as a way of saying you that uses the third person as a form of respect. So it's like you're distancing yourself from the person a little bit. You don't want to address them too directly. So you're talking about them in third person. Usted. Let's do some practice. ¿Cómo se dice you in a formal way? Sí, si, en español. The verb to see si is ver. It should be usted ve. Usted ve. Notice there's no S here, even though it means you see, because it's formal. ¿Cómo se dice you, formal, search, en español? The verb is buscar. The answer is usted busca. You search, but in a formal way. ¿Cómo se dice you, formal, write? En español, the verb is escribir. La respuesta correcta es usted escribe. You formal write. Por fin, ¿cómo se dice you formal wait? En español, the verb is esperar.
La respuesta correcta es usted espera. Usted espera. Uh, that's all the practice we're going to do for right now because you already are familiar with this verb form, but we'll practice more in class. Muchas gracias y adiós.